Hello everybody, welcome back to Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, where we're going to continue from where we left off, which is uh, 25% Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to be doing career, obviously, and I'm in my 300, alright, so, um, what should I do? Have I done the luxury races in this? I could do the luxury club races. Or I could just do the street ra the I could battle like the regular people. Ah, let's just do the luxury. I'd I'd rather do the luxury club stuff. Yeah, look out for this guy. He's got this special Silverado that's really cool. Silverado? Yeah, because Silverados are awesome. So how is everybody doing today? I'm doing good. I want well, to tell you guys something. I went to that uh, that concert I was talking about. And I think I talked about it in my Pokemon, the last Pokemon episode that I did. And, um... If you didn't know, I went to a concert in Oakland on Friday, last Friday, the 15th, February 15th. Um, it was an, uh, the headliner was Every Time I Die. One of a band that I've been trying to see for a long time. What am I doing? And, yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys about that concert. It was an awesome concert, let me tell you. All right. So before I even got to the concert, um, I had to pick my friend up at a at a mall because uh, I was going with my friend, and she was working until six o'clock at night. So. I had to wait for, I had to pick her up at work and then we went straight to the concert from her job. So, uh, I don't, I don't even know why <laughs> I'm telling you guys that. I went to Cold Stone while I waited for her. I, I ordered a, what's gonna call it? That chocolate peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter something. And it was fucking disappointing. Because, um, they didn't have a peanut butter. Like, okay, I want peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter ice cream. You guys have no peanut butter. All, all, what they did to compensate for the lack of peanut butter was put more Reese's cups in it. And that just made it, like, overbearing. I was like, this is like eating a candy bar. I don't, I don't fucking fucking sucks okay so back to that on the way over to the concert um, we uh we hit a lot of traffic come on yes look at that shit <laughs> I bet you guys didn't think I was gonna win <laughs> we hit, but um, we hit a whole bunch of traffic, so we ended up being like, uh, like a half hour late. Look at that fucking bus. Um, but it was okay. But apart from the traffic, another thing that made us kind of late was parking, because since we already we were already late, all the parking was gone, so we had to find like some place. So we tried like this parking garage, but they told us that our car would be trapped in there because it was for like some kind of business. So, and then, and then we were just like wandering about looking for some place. And wandering about in Oakland is not a good idea. There, like in the in the ten minutes or roughly around that I was driving around looking for parking, I saw like a bajillion cops. Like, no joke, it was like at least 30 cops that I've seen. 
and uh, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty intimidating. It's kind of scary. I mean, Oakland's not that bad. It looks like a pretty nice place. Oh shit! Where? There it is. But um. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of cops. It was ridiculous. But then we ended up finding parking behind the venue. And, uh, at that, it was like five seconds away walking. I was like, God, I, I gotta remember this parking place. So, um, when we got to the show, um, the first band was already playing. The first band was No Bragging Rights. And we only got to see uh, one and a half songs that they played. <sighs> Fucking shit. Again with this going, me going the wrong way. But um... Uh, but those one and a half songs that we saw were pretty sick. They were like... I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to like No Bragging Rights. Because that, the name of the band, it's kind of, it kind of sounds poser-ish. But it was, uh, it was good. They were good. And then, uh, after that, 100th played. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. 100th? Like I'm the 100th person in line? That was the next band that played. Shit. Man. Why the fuck am I like? I keep like flipping backwards. It's like. Freaking retarded. Okay. So the next band that played was 100 in. And I was equally surprised with them because I watched one video before seeing them. Because I, the only reason I watched the video was because I was like, oh, they're toying with uh, every time I die. So let me see how what they sound like. And I, I heard a lot about 100th. Like from, I know Let Live are fans of them. Okay, let's go this way. Because... This way is smarter than the other way that I went. And they ended up being really good. The, the video that I saw, I didn't like the song that all that much. But uh, when I saw them live, it was like, they are pretty crazy. The singer has like a lot of stage presence. He's really, he's a really good front man. He, one thing that he was doing that was really gross but kind of funny was he'd spit in the air like I don't even know if it was like a fucking loogie or something like that but he'd try to catch it again in his mouth and I was like that is fucking disgusting and cool at the same time because I've never seen anybody do that before <laughs> shit where am I going There we go. Okay, I didn't, I didn't screw up too bad that time. There we go. Not too bad. But um. So after uh, 100th played, I was very surprised about 100th. I was, my friend even bought like so a beanie from them because she thought the band was cool she didn't she didn't really know about them either so that was cool the next band that played was Vanna and this is the second time I saw Vanna first time I saw Vanna they were amazing live uh, and this second time sucked well sucked not because of the band because of the venue the electricity kept on going out. Fuck me, no. 
shit. Okay. Let's start over. Okay. The electricity kept going out in the venue. Not not even the freaking It was like one surgical outlet that was like crucial to the band performing. It was like so dumb because the lights were still on and it was the band was pissed. Like I've never seen a band get so mad. Well, I mean, one of the guitarists like cursed one of the workers out. It was pretty, pretty cool. They ended up playing only two and a half songs, and like one of them ha was like had no PA system, so it was like pretty much drums and like bass and <laughs> it was like weird but people were still singing along and it was it was great and I felt bad I felt bad for them because they were so like angry everybody was so disappointed because there was a lot of people there for Vanna and it just sucked all all around it was not a good day they got screwed hardcore so I felt bad for them so I ended up buying like some patches from them they were like freaking cheap I bought a back patch it was like five dollars and um, and then like a small a small one for one dollar it was pretty my car is fucked up man. So yeah, I felt bad for them. And then the next band to play was uh, the Acacia Strain. And like, what can I say about them? They're they were good. They they were good. I like them. It, it's like th it was the third time I saw the Acacia Strain. And they were good. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Like, the vocalist sounds like a dinosaur, like to the max. There we go. I win. Okay. The the singer sounds like a dinosaur. And one thing about their performance was uh, Andy from Every Time I Die. He'd like uh. He sang in one of their songs, uh, Beast. He sang in Beast. Which was... It was pretty cool to see. I've never seen Andy do vocals. Before. Class B vehicles were shipped. That's cool. And, um... But yeah, it was, it was just an awesome performance. Nothing really happened. They're pretty funny. Oh, shit. A motorcycle. A ram. Esprit? Wait, Esprits are expensive, aren't they? A Saline? Fuck a Silverado. Mercedes. Ooh. What the hell's that? That was a weird motorcycle. And, uh... But yeah, it was cool seeing Andy do vocals. Their performance was really good. Yeah, it was cool. But then every time I die, let me tell you about these guys. The headliner. They were freaking incredible live. I, uh... What the hell is this? It's just a, what, a go straight, go back kind of thing?
Did I just win this? I did win this. I had no idea what I was doing. That was lucky. How many times? He said that, like, how many times? But let me, oh, I got off track. Every time I die, let me tell you, they were incredible live. I, this is like the second time I stage dived at a concert. The first time was with Parkway Drive. But this time was not as perfect as Parkway. Parkway Drive, I like landed on my feet. I didn't lose anything. It was... It was like the perfect stage dive. This one, it was equally as perfect, except I lost my glasses, and I lost one of my shoes. And it sucked because, obviously, since I lost my glasses, I can't see. So I missed like half, like I would say about half the concert, or half of their set. Everybody friggin' miscalculated the turn. But um I missed half the set, but even without the even without my glasses, they still frickin' were amazing. Whoa, where do I go? Fuck. Okay, I think this is a loss. Wait, you know what, let's try it. Oh, no, that's definitely a lost cost. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I thought that was gonna be a street. But I lost my glasses. I lost my shoe. I ended up finding them at the end of the concert though. So it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So it wasn't that bad. I, I ended up finding my glasses at the end. And it was a miracle that they weren't destroyed. Because I lost them like right in front of the stage. And I, th I was like convinced that they were going to be smashed and mangled. And yeah, it would have been hard to freaking drive home without glasses on. But yeah, it was pretty, but I, I don't regret stage diving. It was freaking awesome being on stage with Andy, Keith, Jordan, Legs, and that bass player from, I, I don't really, I didn't know the bass player's name. Fuck me! Holy shit, I did like a freaking a roll. God damn it, man. I need to catch up. Fuck! God damn rain. Can't stand it. I can't stand the rain. And yes, I was making a, a reference there. Whoa, where is it? Fuck! God damn you, Ian. Okay. But yeah, like, there was a lot of funny moments during the concert. Like, somebody put, uh, like, uh, some porn in Keith's jacket. <laughs> and, like, when he found, when he, like, when he finished, the, like, the song that he was playing, he looked inside and he looked at it and he was like, somebody left, what the fuck is this guy doing?
Well, he looked beside his jacket, and it was porn. And <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna pass this around, but I want it back at the end of the concert. So make sure everybody <laughs> looks at the front and back, because I want it back. That's pretty freaking hilarious. There's a lot of funny moments during the concert. So now let's concentrate. Okay, this should be this should be the end. Fuck! Are you kidding me? But you know what, guys? <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it here, um, because we're already we're at tw like 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, later.